It's August 2012 and I'm fishing aboard Andy Bradbury's Blue Mink for Taupe out off Walney Island. Taupe have been a protected species for a number of years now, but not a great deal is known about the population dynamics. So in an attempt to come up with the answer, Aberdeen researcher James Thorburn is collecting fin clips and measurement data, and this is part of the Fleetwood consignment. That's 23. Twenty-three by eight. And it's a female. Mm. <laughs> So 23 by 8 female. Early on in the season, and intermittently throughout the main summer months, some very big talk to over 50 pounds, plus numbers of other good fish were taken aboard Blue Mink. But the fishing was at times inconsistent, in the main due to persistent and prolonged wet weather creating lots of colour, not to mention saline dilution in the water. And when the lulls did eventually come, the first talk back were invariably small juvenile fish. But while this wasn't what the anglers particularly wanted, it wasn't a problem for the project, as small fish are much easier to handle and ultimately do less damage to themselves during the data gathering process. At the end of the day, DNA is DNA, regardless of the size of the fish providing it. Well, in generally, especially with the price of fish these days, you don't always have the luxury of making a rubby dubby up. But when the mackerel are abundant, it does pay to bring a few more in board for the following day to actually mash them. So we'll go down in a onion sack attached to the anchor to give a trail, a scent trail for the taupe. To the anchor, ready to go. As now we're heading into the end of August and into September, uh, the small baits rather than the big full mackerels that we would use earlier on in the year for the big females are starting to come into their own. The beauty obviously of, of using the smaller baits now is not only are we still catching the taupe on them but for other species as well. Example of being the, uh, the huss and decent sized tub gurnards and uh, obviously the dogfish as well. It's surprising really, the range of fish actually willing to pick up a small mackerel strip. We've just seen Andy catch and release a small codling. Here, one of the party is now into a nice tub gurnard. Right. Send it to me. Yeah, yeah, that's out to flat, tell them. <laughs> That's a, uh, that's a bonnie tub. Could call it a tail up, Andy. That's a good two, two a and a half pound, isn't it? Is it tea? Followed by another smaller one up front.
Inevitably, mackerel strips, in fact most baits unfortunately, also pick up the fair share of dogfish these days too. But where in the country doesn't? Well done Paul, that's brilliant fishing. Yeah. The big dog is yours, isn't he? So he's got to wait up there, yeah. Yeah, it's better than the wind's into the pins. Yeah. Right, fishy, yeah. you know, it's a short tail. You know, get it through. Sandpaper body. Alright, just hang that on. Do you feel the full? Meanwhile, back on the science scene, our remit was to measure length and girth, determine the individual sex, then clip a tiny portion from its dorsal fin for DNA profile. You've done your, your bit. You've done my bit. You've done your bit now. Oh, tell me. Another male. I'll bill him later. Why, why do you know it's a male? You tell me it's a male fish because underneath here, same with the bigger ones, you've got the claspers. Alright. Oh, Brilliant fishing. Yes. Male fish on top with the long claspers. Female fish below with none. No, we've always had them. Big summer. Now. Up at the show. Twenty six. Just hold his head down there, Anthony, for me. It's where my thumb is. Twenty-five and a half inches by. Be right up here, then. Yeah, that's that. Eight and a half inches. The primary aim of the project is to see just how interrelated talk groups actually are and if in the future any are likely to come under specific threat. Unfortunately it's taken us a couple of attempts to get here, but tomorrow these fin clips will be on the way to Scotland and whatever the final report contains I'm sure it'll have beneficial aspects for Britain's favourite inshore shark, the taupe.